All right, welcome back to the Liberty Freedom Farm YouTube channel. So I'm gonna have to apologize that uh, I'm recording this video well ahead of actually establishing the YouTube channel, but I wanted to record this for a future upload. So bear with me, I'm not sure how that's gonna pan out, but what I wanna show you guys is this. We are going to assemble the Omaha chicken coop barn. So I scored this at Cal Ranch store here in Utah. They're also sold at IFA and other stores. Now this is apparently the new and improved version and it has uh, three boxes. So I was super stoked. We're not totally fond of the red colors. And so when I showed up to pick it up, it was blue with the brown doors. I thought that was pretty awesome. So we're trying to identify a proper spot to locate it. And I'm really liking right here. Now with foxes, coyotes, uh, raccoons, and other predators, you know, obvious security is a concern. So we're going to practically try to assemble the thing and then I guess get it in place. So stay tuned. All right, so here we are. Mr. Zach has just about got this thing assembled. And uh, so Zach spent a few hours putting this little baby together. And now we gotta run down and get the chickens and bring them up here. So like I said, I was super stoked that it was blue to match our blue barn. And uh, it's got quite a few features and functions. It's not totally fully built just yet. I guess those are the those are the laying laying beds, and then you've got like a storage area over here. All those doors open, and then the ramp comes up from the other side. There's some cool little roosts up top. <laughs> it resembles a tiny dollhouse, is what it looks like to me. So a couple defects from the shipping. Okay, and then it looks like a, a chip right over here. Now, what I will say is, in looks it resembles a dollhouse, and in uh, and in ruggedness it kind of resembles a dollhouse. <laughs> it is not very, it's over there. It is not very sturdy, but I mean like for chickens, it's probably gonna be okay. But uh, during assembly, you know, you gotta, you gotta drill these holes out, otherwise you might split it. It says it's made of uh, fur or whatever resistant, uh, resistant uh, wood. Now this chicken wire is kind of small gauge compared to the other stuff that I built my own chicken coop yeah, out of before. But, but you know, a lot of people bury an edge around it to keep the animals and rodents from digging in. So this is just kind of a temporary <laughs> arrangement right here. You want to put it over there? Yeah. Up by the bees? The but side. there's nowhere that's level up there. Anyway, pretty, right pretty excited to get the chickens over here. We're going to br bring them home from the other house tonight. Or we can bring them home. Oh, what? Okay, so we have a barn cat, a barn yeah. cat situation too. We started out with six or maybe seven. Six. And it seemed like day by day, they, uh, disappeared so we don't know where the mom went or what's going on or if they're being taken out every night by predators or what they've been up in the loft of the barn so anyways Yo. Well, we don't knock over the compound the compost bin the barn cats that have been abandoned by their mom Great. Oh, Can you not ram into every single thing in view? <laughs> you what are you doing? Good. I know you're hungry. 